Once upon a time, the Minnesota Fighting Vikings brought back Vikings legend Randy Moss. Didn't quite work out, but it's still a lot of fun. So why not try it again? Bring back yet another Minnesota Vikings legend in Georgia Loca? All right, so, so the Vikes worked out the veteran safety uh, this week, and I have questions. Uh, it is nice that he and Zimmer go way back like chiropractic, but I don't know. All right, so let's talk about George Loka today. Uh, background, he's only 30 years old. It, it does seem like loka has been around the league forever, but he's still only 30, turned uh, turned Trienta uh, in March. Uh, 6'4", 225, big physical long safety that, of course, Zimmer likes. Uh, 2012 was a fifth-round pick by the Bengals coming out of Boise State. Uh, ended up starting six seasons in Cincinnati. Starting seven, uh, 76 games, uh, spent the two first years uh, with Zimmer, notably 2013. First season as a full-time starter was uh, Zimmer's final season as defense coordinator uh, with the Bengals before he got the Vikings job. Uh, in Cincy, he recorded 343 tackles, had nine picks, as well as broke up 32 passes. Uh, was primarily strong safety, but also did work in the slot quite a bit. Uh, he was the key cog in uh, Cincinnati's modern you know, three-safety big nickel uh, role that uh, you know, Zimmer worked in Cincinnati and brought here to uh, Minnesota and has worked uh, with uh, you know, pretty good uh, results uh, so far. Uh, Bengals uh, let him go uh, early in training camp in 2018. So then, of course, we're like, ah, 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 was signed uh, that season between the second and third preseason game by the Vikings. Uh, that was the preseason. Remember, Jam Ron Curse was basically... MIA, like he didn't play in the first two preseason games, thought that he was going to be cut the former seventh rounder uh, from Clemson. Uh, and it was assumed that the starting safeties uh, on the Vikings would be Harrison Smith, uh, starter Andrew Sandejo, who's coming off that uh, concussion from the Minneapolis Miracle game by dirty ass Michael Thomas. Right. Uh, also, uh, up- upcoming uh, star Anthony Harris, uh, as well as Aloka. We thought that those would be the four safeties. Uh, J-Ron. It's been fun. It's been real. It hasn't been real fun. Uh, of course, Zimmer and Aloka chemistry, them going way back. Uh, ooh, maybe Aloka takes over Sendejo, and then uh, it's Aloka and Harrison Smith long term. Because uh, I think both of them are in their late 20s. It could be a nice pair for a long while, but nah, nah. Uh, J. Ron Kurtz stepped up to his credit uh, once the Vikings brought a look in. J. Ron balled out in a third preseason game against Seattle. Uh, Vikings ended up keeping five safeties uh, on the 53-man rooster for the first time ever in the Zimmer era. Uh, traditionally keeps four. And then Harris uh, had his breakout when Sendejo went out. A lot of people thought uh, Aloka would be filling in that role. Not so much. 41, it was his time to shine. J-Ron became J-Ron really carving out that niche uh, as that, that third safety, the big nickel type role. Which you would think that Aloka, well, like uh, Aloka and J Ron, there, there's a lot of like uh, physical overlap as well as skill set overlap. So J Ron won out, and Aloka, I mean, he played in all 16 games, but was mainly limited to special teams duty. Uh, played 114 snaps on defense, mainly at strong safety as well as in the slot. Uh, 240 on the various special teams units. Uh, did record 16 tackles and forced a fumble uh, against the Jets, but it wasn't much. And if you're Aloka. Uh, you would think that, all right, so your old coach, you get to here, you sign for a minimal deal, and you would think that, I don't know, I was sold a bag of goods. Like, Zimmer lied to me. Right? But you could see him being mad, but he wasn't. Uh, he was super gracious, super humble, you know, propped up the young kids, and just sort of accepted as a it is what it is sort of spot. Uh, was in camp with the Cowboys in 2019, uh, didn't make the roster, uh, and that was his last uh, sniff at the NFL. And just recently worked out with the Vikings, so I, I I'm sort of in, uh, indifferent about this. I think that Aloka could certainly bring something to the table, but also I think it says way more uh, about the Viking safety depth because the recently claimed Stephen Parker, he's already getting run with the ones like with Harrison Smith bows out, so it's been Parker and Anthony Harris as well as uh, Nate Metters who they moved from cornerback to safety. Uh, he's been getting some work with the twos. Josh Metellus, Brian Cole, the two late round draft picks, I, I think not quite panning out. So uh, I think that bringing in the veteran Aloka as well as the Vikings have worked out uh, other various um, you know, veteran safeties as well. Uh, Julio Adai, uh, formerly of the Chargers. So that, do- that doesn't bode well. Uh, the Vikings obviously have some concerns uh, at that safety spot behind the best safety duo in the league and Anthony Harris and Harrison Smith. So why the hell not at, at this point? I mean, he knows the system. You hit the ground running, so we'll see. All right, but your thoughts, Vikings working out George Loka. Bring him on back. 
Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, subscribe for daily Viking stakes. Want to support that work? Pull something the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value. <laughs>